Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron with another mini awesome cast. Please check out everything else if you stumbled upon this over at awesomecast.net. Now today we're going to get a little bit of gaming to start off our week of these shows. Um, first of all, The Verge is reporting this morning that uh, Nintendo is not giving up on consoles. Good to see, although we have uh, kind of supposed about them kind of going the Sega route and just uh, putting their IP everywhere. They're promising to unveil a brand new concept next year. This includes a hardware platform called the Project NX, uh, which, you know, I kind of uh, expect this probably be announced pro- around-ish E3, although they've got, been going rogue and doing their own announcements via this uh, Nintendo Direct kind of situation. Um, and they're also partnering with, uh, according to Touch Arcade, a uh, group called DNA, that's a D-E-N-A, um, to make smartphone games with Nintendo IP. Now, they're talking about this as a new, they're, they're calling it a brand new concept for next year that actually will start rolling out with uh, mobile applications in the fall of this year. What does this mean? Uh, we got a nice graphic you know, with the 3DS, with the Wii U, but also it's showing the PC, smartphone, and tablet, as well as the dedicated uh, game system NX, which should be the upcoming one. Uh, you know, the, the next one beyond, I'm sure, the Wii U. Um, the Wii and X, maybe? And I'm kind of curious to see what that concept is, since we do they, they've gone outside the box with this tablet concept for the Wii U, or the Wii in general. Um, and it's in the middle of the graphics, it's jointly develop and operate a new membership service that encompasses smart devices and dedicated video game platforms or systems. Um, so what does this mean? You can probably parse a lot of this, um, but uh, it seems... <laughs> it, this, is, this is good. He's, they're saying they're leaving the details uh, deliberately ambiguous, according to The Verge over here. Um, but they're trying to build a kind of their own ecosystem. Um, I feel like part of this we may have seen already with the PlayStation and Sony had their PlayStation device certification, which, uh, put a lot of their games and their services, um, their subscription services on specific Android tablets. Now that just closed down or is in the process of closing down. So I'm, I'm then curious, what are they going to do with this? So Nintendo thinks they can do a better job at this. At least they're not making the devices and shoehorning me into, I have to buy a sony android tablet in order for this work because to be honest i would have loved to and probably have subscribed to a sony playstation um uh, network subscription whatnot on my nexus 7 device for instance or hell open that thing up the ios why not right and, and i can play crash bandicoot on my on my iphone why not i'm sure there's a crash bandicoot whatever game i know that's not sony only right now um so don't hit me fanboys um but uh I, it's interesting because they, they keep saying that they're going to throw in Nintendo IP to mobile devices, again, with this DNA situation. But the big thing is it's going to drive you back to their systems. So you're not going to get a Legend of Zelda, I don't think, on the phone. I would love if you did. I love if we just virtual console NES games. I'm enjoying it so much with Sonic the Hedgehog. I play Sonic CD um, on my phone. Um, which is amazing. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's good to see them kind of rolling in this. But no, you got two Japanese companies. Um, and Nintendo, of course, has been kind of a... Doesn't seem like they listen to the American um, market. Or it seemed like they're, they're in a silo <laughs> or something. Um, by some of the weird, weird decisions. As we've discussed over in the Boss Battle uh, podcast. And we've we've had this over and over again. We've had uh, former WWE Pro wrestler Zach Gowan sitting there with us wondering, hey, we're all Nintendo fans. Why have we not bought a Wii U? And we just expounded the reasons, right? And now some of us have. Riz on the show has. Uh, Riz on the site has. Uh, and talks about it and, and is doing reviews for him uh, uh, from here and there. Uh, here, here and there. Yes, uh, but uh, but I don't know. It's interesting. I, I I think I'm looking forward to see what they do. I want to see Nintendo's next step. The Wii U has not excited me enough, at least for the cost, to pick one up. I want to. I'm hoping the next system lets me get all those games on the Wii U that I missed that I want to play. All our, all my Mario and Zelda, and Smash Brothers, and everything like that. I'm kind of a late comer to to those kinds of situations but what do you think what do you think of nintendo's plans this uh ambiguous statement check the links in the notes and uh read up on these articles and let us know what you think of uh, where nintendo's going what is the future of nintendo and they're dropping hardware right in the middle right after the launch of this latest hardware cycle maybe this is just the nintendo we're going to get now let me know what you think 
comments to this at Awesome Castle on the Twitter. I'm at Sorgatron, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.